What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Van Apocalypse. We're in a GMC Safari today, a 2002 model, and it was having an issue. It was running rough and had a check engine light. So we went ahead and plugged in to the OBD2 right there, and we got a P0305. So this means there's a problem with the fifth cylinder. Usually, you can just switch out the spark plug, and that oftentimes will fix the issue. So bad spark plug could be a bad spark plug wire, could be a bad ignition coil, and uh, rarely could be also a bad fuel injector. But anyway, all I wanted to do was switch out the spark plug, and I'll show you how I did it. It was anything but easy. So I, I thought it would probably be, and I watched a couple of YouTube videos and looked like they were getting it through, getting to the spark plugs in a Safari. Now it wasn't exactly a 2002, but they were getting to the spark plugs through the dog door here, which is how I do it on my Econo line, on my 88 uh, Ford Econo line. On this vehicle, to take out this, you gotta pop out these guys. There's like a T27, uh, so you, you remove those, this thing will pop out. And then there's like a breather that you pull out, and then you remove a couple more bolts, and uh, you take out this main metal part, which um, I struggled to get out of the way because the seats, you might even have to remove the seats. But anyway, I'm not telling you to do all this, because as it turned out, once I got in there, I realized there was no way in hell I was going to change those spark plugs from there. There just wasn't room. I could see the distributor, I could see the spark plug wires coming out of the distributor, but they go down into this little crevice here, and it just there wasn't room. I couldn't even put my fingers in there, much less a tool, and the spark plugs were just way too deep. So what I had to do was raise the vehicle, put it on ramps, and then I got underneath here. And here's the tire, and you come over here. Look up here, and there's the number five spark plug. But you have this little silver guy that you have to move out of the way. You can see the other spark plugs. I mean, how you get to these is very difficult. You can't fit your traditional spark plug socket around those. And so I ended up using this tool. It's a special kind of wrench here, a 5 eighths. I was able to move this metal thing out of the way, slip this around, and grip it this way. And this is the number five spark plug that I changed out. Unfortunately, even when I was able to get this wrench around that spark plug, at first, it wouldn't budge. The thing would not budge. I could not get it to come out. Um, at this point, I realized, like, okay, I'm not even going to bother swapping out spark plugs and testing it. I'm going to buy it. It's $10. I'm buying a new spark plug. I'm going to switch out the spark plugs. If it doesn't fix the problem, oh, well, it needs a new spark plug anyway. So um, it, it could definitely use new spark plugs. So anyway, I couldn't couldn't get it. Tra sprayed some PB P P P P P blaster in there and whatever, WD-40. It didn't matter. That thing was not budging. Watch the YouTube video. I'm going to link this one here because this was a really helpful video. So go subscribe to this guy here. That's like a call-in show of some kind. I, I, I just happened to find it searching for this, for how to get stuck spark plugs out. And he recommended, you know, turn on that vehicle, warm it up till it gets to the uh, regular temperature that you would run the car on. And once it gets nice and hot. And I'm talking about hotter than the blazes of hell and damnation itself. Let it run for a little bit. Turn it off and immediately as fast as you can, see if that spark plug will come out. Sure enough, I turned the van on, let it run 15, 20 minutes. I didn't even tape go anywhere, I just let it run. First, of course, plug your plug your boot back in the spark plug so everything's so it's getting it's heating it up there. And as soon as I was uh, as soon as I turned off the van, I jumped back under that under here there, pulled off the boot, stuck this back on, and it came right loose. And it broke right loose, and I was able to get that spark plug out. Um, Waited until it cooled down before I put the new one in because it is a lot of hot, hot stuff under there. So waited until it cooled down, put the new guy in, and the problem was solved. P0505 problem was solved. But if you got one of these safaris, as far as I can tell, you have to change the spark plugs from underneath. And the number five one I, I, I showed you, the rest of them, good luck. But uh, it, it is possible from underneath. But, uh, you know, those other ones probably need to be changed as well. But uh, for now, at least, uh, got the code taken care of. The other spark plugs are working fine at the moment. But uh, yeah, 
what a pain in the ass. I don't know whoever designed this van just needs to find a new, a new career.